our first guest today has sewn the Spurs spirit into apparel. Our dear friend, Jennifer Nicolella, owner of Abby's Attic Sewing Studio is here. So Hi. good to see you. You too. Thanks love for the outfit me. today. Thank you. I yes. had to show off my spirit. Yes, <laughs> Spurs spirit. I love it. Okay, so what are we doing today? Because we're we're dazzling denim. We're which dazzling is awesome. some denim. And so we're not using a sewing machine. We are today. not. In fact, okay. <laughs> He's so good at it, you know? We're not using that today. We're letting y'all okay. off the hook today. So this is a new uh, series for the adults. It's the adult summer sewing camps, because uh, why should the kids have all the fun? Okay. Um, but this Saturday at 10, we're going to be doing art jeans. And so you can take a pair of jeans that is kind of falling apart, or you know, you still want to just sort of extend the life of them. Um, but since it's Spurs Day, we're going to go ahead and um, put the coyote on our jeans. Okay. And so, what do I do? We, these three are already done. Yes. What is that? So this is called heat and bond. It's basically okay. uh, glue paper, and we're just going to glue it on. And then once it's cool, you peel all those little papers off. And what this is going to end up being is something called reverse applique. And that just means putting fabric on fabric, but in this case, we're putting it behind the hole. Mm -hmm. So we'll try to peel this stuff mm -hmm. off. And this stuff comes in a roll like this. It does. It comes okay. in rolls, comes in sheets. Um, you can get it at craft stores, fabric stores. It's really easy to use, and it's a great no-sew option. And you like this better than the glue, right? Oh, yes. I okay. don't use, no. Because that stuff can get really, really messy. <laughs> yeah, and it doesn't wash well, and doesn't. it's not permanent. And this does, I mean, Very it's permanent. on there. You must, it's not coming off. You, you were committed okay. when you have it on there, yeah. <laughs> so she's going to go ahead and cut open the, the pocket opening there so we can put mm -hmm. the coyote in it. And is this something that really a beginner can do? Absolutely, yeah. Okay. All you need is just the heat and bond. Um, you need some fabric, and it doesn't matter which fabric you use, cotton is the best. Okay. Um, it just is much more user friendly. And then you a hot iron and some scissors. So then that raises the question, if it was a synthetic material, uh, do you have to adjust the temperatures and the iron for the, the this stuff? I mean, do you use the yes. material setting for it? You can. You should use the material setting for it. Synthetics will tend to melt on a higher temperature, so okay. that's, that's a good question. But yeah. it will still activate the, the yes. blue paper? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. So she's got that cut and open. Almost. Now, <laughs> so Almost. this is a no-show option. Okay. No-sew option, sorry. So Mike is going to be doing something called um, sashiko, and sashiko was invented in the 1600s in Japan as a way to um, repair and mend clothing that was used often. Um, you know, it's a very practical way to extend the life of your garments. So you said take a bunch of little patches here, and this mm -hmm. can be used for decoration, or if you got an old pair of jeans and you want to patch them up Correct. and get some life out of them, and you said just put this through the material. Yeah, so it's easier if okay. you have a, a, a needle with a great big eye to put the embroidery floss through, okay. and a really long needle, and if it's tough to stick the, no, the needle through, use, yep. you can use this coin, you can or use a thimble, thimble or yeah, your favorite, the pliers. Because okay. when you start putting it through a bunch yeah. of layers of denim like that, yeah, yeah and you don't kind of pull it. Handy. Hot, no. Right, right. You want to keep it kind of loose, the stitches. And the stitches are supposed to show in this too, yes. right? Yes, it is called Just visible mending for that one. Okay. Yeah. But it's a nice, you know, it's become its own little art form, so it's kind of cool. Okay. And you All said right. you could even do uh, other, like if you have an old pair of jeans that you use for the patches, yes. put the patches even on the inside sort of like that Yeah, too, so right? if your kid comes home with a hole in his jeans, which I'm sure, or the girls, you yeah. know, either way, um, you put a patch on the inside or on the outside, you can either use heat and bond to close it up, or you can use uh, hand stitching. Okay. okay. Now, when she does, does that, what do you do about the, the edges yeah. so they don't fray up? So you can use uh, hand stitching to secure that down, mm -hmm. but um, the fraying is kind of a nice um, oh. look. You know, okay. uh, you see the jeans lately with all the holes in them and that they've got that fraying look. So go ahead and iron it down. And yep. you have classes and camps and everything, like you said, for the adults as well as the kids. That too, is right? correct. Yep. All summer long, camps for kids. Uh, Saturdays are camps for adults, and then when school resumes, we have all kinds of classes for all ages. You know, and if nothing else, you learn how to hem those pants mm -hmm. for the kids, and you can save yourself a fortune by not sending them to the uh, to the tailor or something like That's that. That's right. And if you really <laughs> want to get creative, look at the jeans that you have there. Those are actually your jeans yeah, that you just don't throw away, right? I love those jeans. Just keep patching them, patching them, patching them. <laughs> just keep they patching them. I gotta keep, I gotta keep <laughs> mending them because they fit. And if you need your sewing machine worked on, she can do that as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so much. For more information on Abby's Attic Sewing Studio, just head to salive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab where we provided a link or just scan that QR code on your screen. Celebrate San Antonio with us on YouTube. Yeah, all of your favorite DIY videos, food, drinks, tips, and tricks. If you've seen it here, it's on the SA Live YouTube channel. Just search KSAT SA Live on YouTube and like, subscribe, and 